So no hitter. Not the easiest thing to do. Some pitchers can go their entire careers without throwing one for you. What was that moment like when you threw that final out? Um, it was pretty cool with all my team there celebrating with me, just giving me high fives after the game, having that experience with them. Was your family here? Were there any friends or family watching you from the stands? Um, yeah, my mom and dad and grandma and grandpa were here the whole game. What was it like having them watch you have such a career milestone? Um, it was pretty cool. They've been to like, all my games this year and all the times i played baseball everywhere. Have you ever come close to throwing a no-hitter before? Um, yeah, last summer I threw a one-hitter with my summer team, so that was pretty cool too. What pitch was working for you on Wednesday? Um, pretty much my fastball. I mean, my curveball is working once in a while, but not every time like usual. And a big part of having a no-hitter is having strong defense behind you. What do you have to say about the way that the guys play behind you? Yeah, my my uh, team played pretty good defense all the way around, and it was cool having them behind me. Would you say pitching and defense are maybe the stronger points of this Belmont team? Um, yeah, it's definitely a big part of our team. We have pretty good outfielders all the way around and infielders. Just every position is pretty strong. And to start off 6-0, and how do you think that gives you guys a bit of a confidence boost as you get ready for your conference games? It um, gives us pretty much a bunch of confidence because next week we have like four conference games and they're toughest in the conference. We touched on this, I guess, a little bit during our interview back there, but to have to go behind someone who just threw a no-hitter, how did you handle the pressure? Um, I just did. I didn't really think about it when I went out there and just did what I usually did. And just after the game, I guess, just happened. From your point of view, what is the hardest part about throwing a no-hitter? Um, making sure you locate your pitches and keeping the ball down and don't let anyone really hit it solid or anything. What did your coaching staff had to say in Coach Fabush? I mean, were they in shock that you went out there the very next day. It wasn't back-to-back -back games, it was back-to-back -back days, too. Um, yeah, they didn't have really much to say. I feel like they are a little shocked because that's the first time in our school history that's ever happened. To have you you and uh, Ryan go down in history, I guess, in the school and have back-to-back no-hitters, it'll be pretty hard for someone to challenge that. Do you? Th how do you feel kind of going down history at Belmont High School? Um, it feels pretty good. Like, no one ever has ever done that in the history of Belmont, and there's has been some pretty good athletes that went through Belmont in the last couple of years. Junior year, are you starting to think about playing college ball? Um, yeah, I have sometimes, not like really hard lately, but I probably will next couple months or so during summer.